All right, just gonna do a video on this. There's all these riots and protests going on from the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict because the BLM Satanists and Luciferians don't like the idea of self-defense and they don't like the idea of you actually defending yourself against their satanic frenzy that they stir up during these riots. And they just don't want to accept the verdict. They keep claiming, oh, it's a white supremacist. He's a white supremacist killer. Just parroting the left-wing socialist liberal media narrative and no i'm not buying into the false left right paradigm okay i'm not left wing and i'm not right wing i'm just a bible believing christian i don't buy into this false left right paradigm however i will say what's true okay and in this case you know Kyle right the right the rightish narrative is right in this case okay you know catchphrase right there but no i'm not buying into the false left right paradigm i want to point that out but here's a video of some of these protest and just look at the idiocy of these BLM people who basically just don't even do the research they just eat up the, the left-wing media's narrative and just like the Luciferian Satanists that they are they just are claiming he's they, they basically hate the idea of, of uh, self-defense basically they don't want you to defend yourself against their satanic rampages and their satanic frenzy they stir up so they can burn down your city burn down your business and if you defend yourself you're a white supremacist killer here's the video We love you! We miss you! We will get justice for you! I said we love you! We miss you! We will get justice for you! No, no, no! No peace! No, no, no! No peace! Fuck these racist ass police! Well, just a bit of heads up, there is a bit of profanity being used because these BLM people just love cussing and using all kinds of filthy language and profanity because they're just a bunch of Luciferian Illuminati Satanists. So, of course, they just love using the, the filthy language they like to use. So, just a bit of a heads up right there. You know the funny thing about all this is, the BLM Satanists seem to actually ignore the fact that both the men he shot, Kyle Rittenhouse shot, were both white men. But you know something else? You know what the biggest killer of black men is? Other black men. That may make some people upset, but that's just a blunt and brutal reality. The biggest killer of black men is other black men. How come BLM there protests black on black violence, which happens on a near daily basis? Hmm. They got their priorities all wrong. That's the blunt and brutal reality. That may make some people upset, but quite frankly, I couldn't care less. Show me what community looks like. This is what community looks like. Show me what liberation looks like. This is what liberation looks like. Show me what liberation looks like. We know what happens when you stand up for black lives. When you stand for black liberation. Well, I wasn't really surprised. So, in other words, rioting and burning down cities and destroying everything is standing up for black lives. Sure. That's the narrative they want to push. So we can burn down your city, we can burn down your business because we're standing up for black lives, but if you defend yourself, you're a white supremacist killer. They got their they got this twisted narrative. It's evil, plain and simple. It's twisted and evil. They hate the idea they just they're communists, plain and simple. At that point I had I had heard that um that a lot of right wing uh, people like Rittenhouse who who had, had traveled out of state to to really escalate violence. I knew that he was gonna gonna get away with it because the American judicial system, which uh, supports capitalism, um, really backed people like him. Just real anger and devastation at um, the fact that like young young black men, young black boys like Trayvon Martin are shot dead because they're carrying around Skittles. And someone like Jacob Rittenhouse is not guilty in all verdicts when he shot two people and went across state lines and use an use a violent weapon to, to murder people i mean it's just it's absurd to me and it really reveals like how broken um the system is um did you not see the videos the so-called peaceful protesters were attacking him they came up behind him with a skateboard they hit him with a skateboard they pointed a gun at him they threatened to kill him but you can't defend yourself because you're just a white supremacist killer these, do these people even do their own research or they just they just eat up the left-wing socialist media narrative it's, it's insanity, okay? The kid was defending himself, okay? Hate to break it to you, to you BLM Satanists out there, but 
if you just run around attacking people, expect self-defense in response. You just you just don't get to run around and just attack people and beat them up and destroy their business and not expect anything to happen in self-defense. That's sorry that just doesn't work that way. You don't do that. Okay, here's the idea. How about you don't just run around destroying everything and then stuff like this won't happen? That simple. How about you don't attack people and burn down their business and then maybe you won't get shot at in self-defense? That may be too real for you to take, but that's the blunt and brutal reality. Okay, that may be too real. You know, this might get me kicked off of YouTube. This might get me kicked off of Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. But that's the blunt and brutal reality. Okay, you can like it or lump it, plain and simple. Because these Luciferians don't want to accept responsibility for their actions. Look, look at this, they say no prisons. So wait a second, no prisons, but you want Kyle Rittenhouse to go to prison, but then you don't want prisons to exist because he's not going to prison. You see that twisted narrative? So prisons are bad because Kyle Rittenhouse is not going to prison. But if he does go to prison, then it's good in that case. Huh? Look at their twisted narrative. Look at how double, look how double-minded they are. Bunch of wicked Luciferian, double-minded Luciferians. Insanity. <laughs> And of course, more filthy language from these Antifa Satanists, these Antifa Luciferian devils. You know, they just love using their filthy profanity. That's the end of the video. But this is the kind of satanic reaction these people have to a kid who simply defends himself. So the prison system is bad, the police are bad, but then they're good when we want to send this kid to prison. So the prison systems are good in that case. Look how double-minded they are. And then they just don't even do their own research. They just eat up the media narrative. They just assume the kid is just a white supremacist who's just running around shooting people. How about you just don't run around and burn businesses down? How about you don't attack people and just threaten them? And maybe stuff like that won't happen. You know? That's real, isn't it? That may be too real for you to take. That, that is just blunt and brutal in your face, but that's the truth out there, okay? Don't act like a bunch of devil-filled devil maniacs, devil-filled Luciferian maniacs, and maybe stuff like this won't happen, okay? This is the kind of Satanism and, lun and lunacy that comes from the BLM Antifa Luciferians, and they are just a bunch of liberal Luciferians. And again, no, I'm not buying into the false left-right paradigm, okay? I'm not left-wing and I'm not right-wing. I'm just a Bible-believing Christian. But these BLM and Antifa Luciferian Satanists are out of control. So I just want to show you all that. Don't don't buy into the false media narrative that they're just pump, constantly pumping out. Uh, these BLM Antifa people are just a bunch of Luciferian Satanist riders. Plain and simple. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.